What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Raise. See this guy? Can you guess who this is? Yes, it's our beloved Milo Mannheim. The male lead of the Zombies franchise is just getting started. Surprisingly enough, Milo has just a few roles under his belt, but we have no doubts that he'll obtain more roles in the future. Did you know that he is set to star in the upcoming film Prom Pact along with Elizabeth Peyton Lee? Believe it or not, the actor got cast in the lead role of Zed while he was still in high school. And shortly after the premiere of the first film, Milo became the new Hollywood heartthrob. His background in musical theater definitely helped him with his performances in Zombies and American Housewives. The fact that he can sing, dance, act, and play several musical instruments proves that Milo has a bright career in front of him. A lot of fans don't know that he is the son of actress Cameron Mannheim, who's been in many TV shows and movies, including Ghost Whisperer. Cameron raised Milo as a single mom, and while she was working, she would often take her son on sets, which is how Milo became passionate about acting. Back in 2009, Milo said to his mom, Hey, wouldn't it be fun if you put me in front of a camera? She said she could make that happen, hopefully. And that's the moment Milo entered our small screens. They gave me the script two hours in advance or something. So I was just eight years old or whatever, reading it, going through it, trying to memorize it. Milo said in an interview with Seventeen, adding that he'd never really done anything like that before. I went in and they offered me the role and I did it. Now Milo is recognized by fans all over the world and they can't wait to see him in Prom Pact and of course, the potential Zombies 4. Come on Disney, make Zombies 4 happen. Now let's see how and when Baby Ariel rose to fame. Baby Ariel, whose real name is Ariel Martin, became an overnight sensation when she started using the lip syncing app Musical.ly. Because of her enthusiastic performances, she gained millions and millions of followers in a short time. Shortly after, she secured herself a modeling job, and it wasn't long after she got into the acting industry. The Florida-born actress started using the app back in 2015 while at her grandparents' house. She was bored and said to herself, let me try this out. Ever since, she has released two singles, Aw and Perf, and the Daniel Sky collab, Say It. Most fans loved her performance in Zombies. Did you? The next one on our list is the beautiful Kylie Russell. Kylie Russell was born on October 8, 1996, which makes her a Libra. Are any Libras out there? We found these photos of her long before she was famous, and we just can't get over the fact of how adorable she is. The actress mostly known thanks to her role in Zombies is married to Gavin Schmidt. They have one child. She played Eliza in the Zombies trilogy and was quite absent from the third installment. This is because she was pregnant for the majority of filming. She announced her engagement to Gavin Schmidt on February 20th, 2021, but she didn't announce her pregnancy until the baby was overdue. What about her co-star and good friend, Pierce Joza? Joza has been in the film industry for a bit longer than we expected. He has acted on stage in productions of Annie, James and the Giant Peach, A Christmas Carol, Peter Pan, and more, per a report by IMDb. Mostly known thanks to his roles in films such as Mech X4 2016, Lab Rats 2012, and Zombies 2 2020. We should expect to see him in more films in the future. Did you guys know that he has done stand-up comedy as well? Terry Who The third and final installment in the Disney Channel original musical series Zombies 3 dropped on Disney Plus recently, and those who have seen it know just how incredible the last film of the trilogy is. What we didn't know is that the movie features the first non-binary lead character in the studio's history. In this film, Terry Who plays a blue-haired non-binary alien, Aspen, and if there's another Zombies continuation, we hope Who will reprise their role. Terry Who's convincing portrayal of a non-binary character is not surprising because the actor is non-binary off-screen as well. In an interview with Hollywood Life made before the film's release, Who expressed that they loved Disney ever since they were a child. I just really, really am grateful and honestly honored to be in this position. Seeing the impact the movie's musical number is having and hopefully my character will have and my presence will have, I'm stoked. They also said that you should smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Here are some older photos of Who that we were able to find. Another new addition that was introduced in Zombies 3 was Matt Cornett. The American actor is known thanks to many roles, including the one in Bella and the Bulldogs. 
He played Zach Barnes on the popular Nickelodeon show, which was his acting debut. Matt was born in Arkansas in a small town named Rogers. He is the youngest child in the family. He has an older brother and sister, and as he said in several interviews, he often makes time to visit the place he was raised in. Matt moved to Los Angeles, California in 2012 in order to pursue an acting career, and then boom, he got his debut role in Bella and the Bulldogs. The next one on our list is the amazingly talented Kyra Tantau. New York-born actress Kyra Tantau made us all proud with her performance in Zombies 3. She is one of the new alien additions that have landed in this third installment of the franchise. The incredible actress is also leading a successful music career in Monica Bang, a punk rock band she founded. Tantau's previous roles include the one in Law & Order Special Victims Unit. However, with her performance in Zombies, we have no doubt that Tantau's resume will be filled with various acting roles soon. An actor most of you had no idea was in Zombies 3 is the really popular and successful RuPaul. Today, RuPaul Andre Charles is the most famous drag queen, and once you think about it, he has been on our small screens ever since. Well, forever. But how did the host of RuPaul's Drag Race really start his career? Well, way back in 1992, RuPaul's hit single, Supermodel, You Better Work, topped the charts, which was kind of his breakthrough in Hollywood. It wasn't long after that, Mac offered him a modeling contract, which was the moment RuPaul became one of the most popular faces in the world. Many of us know RuPaul best as the host of RuPaul's Drag Race, and even though you think he was forever on this show, the show didn't premiere until 2009. The actor worked really, really hard in order to become successful. Here are some pictures of when he was at the beginning of his career. But what about Chandler Kinney? When did she start her career? When Chandler Kinney was only one year old, she and her family moved to Los Angeles, where she grew up with two brothers. At the age of three, she started her dance training in order to pursue a dancing career. When she was just nine years old, she started her acting lessons, and shortly after, in 2012, she got cast in Battlefield America. Kenny is a multi-talented person as she is also a skilled singer and a piano player, but it seems like she is currently focused on her acting career. For those not familiar, the actress rose to fame while working for Nickelodeon. To be more precise, she became really popular thanks to her performance in the TV series Lethal Weapon, in which she portrayed Rihanna Murtaugh. The last cast member on our list is the female lead of the franchise, Meg Donnelly. Born in New York City and raised in Peapack, New Jersey, Donnelly has been acting ever since she was a child. At the age of six, she started training in voice dance, and of course, she took some acting lessons. She confirmed that it's time for you to smash that subscribe button and notification bell, so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. Donnelly's acting talents are more than obvious, and it shouldn't come as a surprise that she landed her first series regular role on Netflix's Team Tune when she was only 11 years old. See you in the next video.